Sagen Sie jetzt mal bitte A. Ah. Anarchie. 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 Ob geschichtlich oder brandaktuell. Mit Berichten und Interviews, mit Beiträgen und Collagen. Beleuchtet das anarchistische Radio Berlin das Phänomen des Anarchismus. Viva Anarchie! On August 22, the Belarusian President Lukashenko signed papers to release all official political prisoners in the country. This includes the three anarchists that were still imprisoned. We talked with anarchist Black Cross Belarus about their release and their upcoming elections, among other things. You can find more information also in English on the website of ABC Belarus, abc-belarus.org. Hi there. On August 22, you broke the news that Europe's last dictator finally released the remaining anarchist prisoners, Iha Alinevich, Mikhailai Tsiatok and Artyom Prapapenko. What's the background of this decision? Some of you may know that Belarus is sometimes called the last dictatorship in Europe. The country is under constant economic and political sanctions for violating human and political rights of the people, as well as repressions. The European Union and the USA have been demanding the release of all political prisoners since 2010. Since then a lot of people were pardoned by the president and released. By August 2015 there were six political prisoners left in jail, including our comrades and an ex-candidate for the presidency. At the same time Lukashenko is getting ready for the new election planned for October 11th, 2015. This gesture was for sure an attempt to gain some credibility in European ranks and introduce another political thaw. Lukashenko has been using the same scheme every time he needs something from Europe. In this case, he hopes for recognition of the election as transparent and democratic. Did they need to sign anything? How long were their remaining sentences? Artyom Blakapenka applied for pardon in February 2015, but his appeal was rejected in April of this year. The rest of the prisoners never signed anything like this and were pardoned on the initiative of the president himself. Mikhailai was to be released in March 2016, Ihar in November 2018, Artyom in January 2018. Were all political prisoners released? If not, who is still in prison? Yes, all those internationally recognized as political prisoners have been released. At the same time, three more people were arrested at the beginning of August for political graffitis. They come from the so-called ethnic anarchist scene. We also support four anti-fascists who are not recognized as political prisoners by the international organizations and an anarchist who prefers his case not to be public. And just out of curiosity, what might ethnic anarchists be? These are people who come from an anti-fascist football hooligan background, which lately have been influenced by a lot of patriotism and nationalistic aesthetics. They propagate anti-fascism and anti-authoritarian ideas, but at the same time stand against the Russian cultural oppression and promote the revival of Belarusian culture and language. This mix ends up in slogans like Belarus must be Belarusian, revolution of the consciousness, it's coming, peace to huts, war to palaces. How will the focus of your work shift now, if at all? Actually, we were giving a lot of attention to the released comrades in 2010 and 2011, when support was most needed. Over time, our support became equally distributed among the rest of our prisoners. That's why we can't say that we have lost a huge chunk of work with their release. At the moment, we are preparing for the new electoral campaign, which usually ends in new arrests and sentences. We also try to do more preventive work, educating activists about strategies to avoid repression, and make the work of the police as difficult as possible. What do you expect politically and repression-wise for the upcoming elections, due probably in autumn 2015? For now, it looks extremely suspicious that the repression hasn't started yet. Maybe the cops decided to first deal with the ethnic anarchists and football hooligans. In the summer there were a few arrests. At the same time we consider this inaction rather tactical. The cops don't forget about anarchists in their closest circles which is proved by a recent raid on an open-air punk concert and a few criminal cases that have been started after the Solidarity campaign in January and February 2015. We feel that the cops are just waiting for the right time to use their blacklists and start arresting people on suspicion of participation in the Soli actions. What concerns the elections, it is still unclear if there is any protest at all, because the opposition is split and it is dangerous to call to the streets looking back at 2010 
than every candidate for presidency was arrested. Anarchists themselves are far from having a vast social base that can join our call to protest. Many thanks.